Good morning, friends. So I'm watching this documentary called Kiss the Ground, and it they talked about how some of the farmers didn't even understand how soil is used or how soil works and how important soil is for our food and our produce and our crops and our health. When soil breaks down and soil becomes dirt and no longer becomes a living organism, then it affects the way that our food is grown. It affects the way that that food turns into fuel in our bodies. And it made me realize how much, how trusting we are in other people, in everything outside of ourselves. And this disconnect between our food and the, and the soil and ourselves has created this sense of disconnect of our own soil, of our own intuition, of our own gut. Um, and so it's interesting to see that connection of how many people are so trusting in what our government says or does or in what doctors say or do without asking questions, without, and not at, on some level, not even to their own fault because the food that we're consuming is disconnecting ourselves from our intuition, our gut, because the foods that are doused in chemicals and pesticides, which are actually, which is actually poison, is killing off the good bacteria in our guts, which the gut-brain connection creates um, clarity in your thought process. You know, how many times do you eat something and you feel foggy? Or how many times do you just in general life do you feel foggy? Or disconnected from yourself? Or <clears throat> just unsure of things to do and you're constantly seeking external validation or external um, resources when everything that you need is already within you. And instead of talking yourself out of things or talking yourself into things, like just listening to your gut and trusting yourself. Um, and if you don't trust yourself, then and you trust others over yourself, that's a complete disconnect. So asking questions you know, if you're on medication, asking why you're on medication. Is there anything else that you can do besides the medication that you're on? Um, it was interesting that my mom um, has to switch some of her medication up. And I asked her what the medication was for and she didn't even know. She didn't know why she was on that medication. She's like, it's either for my blood pressure or it's for um, my cholesterol. It's like both of those things can be managed by food and by um, meditation and exercise and all these things and she does a great job of managing on her own but there's this fear of if I don't take it, if I don't take this external thing to manage this thing that my doctor prescribed then what could happen? I could have a heart attack, I could my high cholesterol could go up but and then the doctor isn't supportive of weaning off of those things because she doesn't know any better either so it's, again, it's constant, like, nobody's asking questions. Nobody is um, sticking up for themselves. Nobody is trusting their own intuition of like, oh no, I'm okay, or I've got this, or, you know, what does my gut instinct say? So be aware of where your food is coming from. Like if you're going to the grocery store, even if you're buying organic, like where's the farm? What's the source of the farm? Is it really organic? <clears throat> How do they treat their workers? All these things, like we're seeing with, Driscoll Farms, how they were underpaying their their field workers, and they're an organic um, farming industry or company. Yes, they also have non organic products, but that's another thing to be aware of. Like, okay, if you're serve, if you're harvesting organic and non organic, why? Um, so, ask questions, reconnect to your food, reconnect to yourself and your gut instinct trust yourself first and trust yourself when you want to ask questions or if there's a nudge inside of your heart like follow that and learn where your food is coming from we can never learn enough 
there's so much information out there. So sending much love. Again, uh, if you're interested in watching this documentary, it's called Kiss the Ground. It's on Netflix. So yeah, much love, many blessings.